Once known as the hub of education in Northeast India, Shillong is home to many renowned educational institutions that have been rendering their services to the people of the state and the region for over a century now. These educational institutions have gone through many changes over the past century, be it academically or managerially, but one thing that remains constant is the heritage value of these structures. One such educational institution is the Loreto Convent, which was founded in 1909. It is a Catholic institution under the management of the Sisters of the Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary, IBVM, also known as the Loreto Sisters. In this episode of Shillong's Iconic Structures, we are featuring one of the oldest schools in the city, the Loreto Convent, an educational institution that has stood the test of time and is still serving the people of the state in different capacities. Loretta Convent is owned by the Loretta Convent Society Shillong, a body registered under the Registrar of Societies Registrations Act 2021 of 1860. It is located at Lum Tingong or Hopkinson's Wood, the same compound where the Archbishop's House and the Cathedral of Mary Help of Christians stand in Light Mukra. It celebrated 100 years of service in 2009. Let's take a trip down memory lane. In the initial years of the Catholic mission in Shillong in the 1890s, a Salvatoran priest, Father Otto Hoffman Muller, put in a request for a Catholic school for European children. In 1905, the Congregation for the Propagation of the Faith or the Propaganda Fidei insisted upon the need for a Catholic school for pupils. At the beginning of the last century, there was a need for a high school for girls, especially for the children of Europeans and Anglo-Indians. The Prefect Apostolic of Assam, Father Christopher Becker, requested the Loreto sisters, who already had a network of well-managed high schools for girls all over India to start such a school in Shillong. The provincial sent Mother Borja Irwin and Mother Anunziata Matrix to assess the situation and report back. They fell in love with the place and the people and were impressed by the generosity of the Prefect Apostolic, who offered to the Loreto sisters six acres of land, a sum of 20,000 rupees for the building, and a scholarship for many children whose parents were not able to pay all the expenses. He further undertook the responsibility of constructing the school building and a convent for the sisters as soon as possible. The work proceeded fast and the blessing of the house took place on May 1, 1909. Five Loreto sisters started classes with 23 day scholars and three boarders on May 8, 1909. The number of students increased steadily. To suit the needs of the area, it was turned into a boarding school for girls while young boys were kept till class 3. The first superior of the school was Mother Mechtilde Costello who had already served 44 years in India. In February 1909, at the age of 66, she was sent to Shillong from Darjeeling to pick up the direction of the new foundation. She succeeded in establishing the new Loreto convent in Shillong and a recognition of her merits in teaching and in education came in the year 1914 when the official New Year list of honours brought the news that the King of England, Emperor of India, had bestowed the Emperor E. Hind Medal for Public Service on Mother Costello. The Governor of the Province of Assam, Sir Archdale Earl, presented the medal made of pure gold to Mother Mechtilde Costello in a solemn function on May 19, 1914, which was held on the premises of Loreto Convent. In 1942, during the Second World War, the school in Shillong was taken over by the government to serve as a hospital for the six soldiers coming in from Burma. The students had to be evacuated, but instead of sending them to their parents, Loreto sisters took them to Loreto Convent in Shimla so that the students could continue with their studies and not miss their academic year. In February 1943, a disastrous fire broke out in the hospital and within two hours, the convent was burnt to the ground except the Forbes Hall and Forbes Villa. When the war was over, the new school was laid on the foundation of the old and the construction was completed in 1950. The school was struck by another calamity when a fire broke out on Christmas Day in 1972 which completely destroyed the rink for roller skating and ballet classes. It was later replaced by a hall and gymnasium. In 1984, the boarding school was closed and the number of day scholars increased. Here are some interesting facts about this school. In the initial years, the school prepared girls for the senior Cambridge examinations. This was of course converted to the Indian school certificate examinations much later. Back in the day, the school made progress and the famous University of Cambridge in England selected Loreto Convent as a recognised centre for its examinations in Assam. 
This meant that the pupils could write the final high school examinations in Shillong and these examinations were approved by the University of Cambridge. They were held for the first time in Assam in the year 1913 at Loreto Convent. As far as music was concerned, the Loreto School was affiliated with the Trinity College in London. Loreto School again was the first institution in Assam to present candidates for the practical and theoretical examinations in music of the Trinity College. The examinations were held in their classrooms. There is an age-old organ at the chapel and until recently, the only sister who used to play the musical instrument was late Celine Pinto. There is also a very old tennis court at the school campus which was once upon a time a favourite pastime for the boarders. At present, the court is not open to any activity. The school still uses an antique bell that dates back to 100 years which is unique in its shape and structure. The school crest is familiar to Loreto pupils worldwide. It is surmounted by the words Maria Regina Angelorum which indicates the patronage of Our Lady Queen of Angels. The emblem is rich in symbolism that can be summed up in the final scroll Cruci Dum Spiro Fido which means throughout my life I shall place my hope in the cross. The heritage building is a sight to behold as this well-maintained structure is a reflection of European architecture with its firm wooden foundation, the iconic circular lawn with a fountain in the middle and is adorned with seasonal flowers of different colours on all four sides, a lush green garden that serves as a perfect study spot, a summer house surrounded by green foliage and trees, children's park and many more. This spectacular Assam type structure is divided into two sections, the main school on one side and the sisters quarters on the other. While half of the old building is covered with tin roofs, as best store roofs are used in the other half. Like every other heritage structure in the city, the walls of the main structure are made of sand, lime and thin bamboo. Almost three-fourths of the classes are located in the old building and the new building, which was inaugurated in 2017, accommodates students from classes 8 to 12, including different laboratories. Like every other school in the city, Loreto Convent also has a library, but what is unique about this library is its furniture. From antique cupboards used for accommodating stacks of books, to age-old and well-crafted tables and chairs and well-furnished wooden floors, they all exemplify marvellous works of mastery. The library also accommodates cupboards filled with gleaming trophies and shields of different shapes and sizes that were won by the girls over the years. Apart from the library, the school also has a chapel which is located in the old building next to the sisters' quarters and an age-old conference room. Some of the existing articles are as old as the Loreto convent itself, such as the brass doorknobs, the classic light switches, the impressive umbrella stand, the towering map stand, the cone-shaped fire extinguisher and the kneelers. The distinct patterns on the chair in the library and the chapel stand out notably. This is where old meets new. Coping with technological advancement, the school has over the past few years introduced many new facets of modernity to the school to enhance teaching and learning lessons like the construction of an audio and visual room and other new educational interventions. And today we have this uh, JPIC, Justice, Peace and Integrity of Creation. So through that, we give, teach our children to care for the environment. And that is why we have, on a regular basis, we maintain all the UN days, especially on the environment. So they take care of the greenery of the place. So we are into that. We are trying to tell them to take care of the earth and bring about peace peace and harmony on this earth. If they can do that, then this will be a better place. In February 1995, the Loreto sisters started a preschool at Umpernai, a village 19 kilometers away from Shillong. In 1996, late senior Marina Bastian, a former principal, started the Loreto Outreach Program at Lightcore to help educate the poor children. This service was extended with, with the opening of a hostel which is now called the Mary Ward Hostel for a few college students. In May 2008, a school for the underprivileged children of Wakadait Malki was started by the former principal, Salim Pinto, on the premises of Loreto Convent itself. She named it Machtilde School after the first superior, Mother Machtilde Costello. The Loreto sisters also conduct evening study classes at Lumlier and foresee the development of students in other villages of Jinta, Weiloi and Masar. 
The sisters, with the help of dedicated and capable staff, continue to serve the people of Meghalaya and the Northeast. Here are some of the past pupils of Loretto Convent who have carved a niche for themselves in various fields of work in the state and beyond. These include Banu Haralu, Indian journalist and a conservationist from Nagaland, Vijay Sauyan, writer and entrepreneur, Leticia John C. A. Myung, registrar of NIFT, Rita Payne, veteran broadcaster with BBC World Service, Ida Shisha Nongrang, special DGP of Meghalaya, Matsudor War Nongbri, Meghalaya bureaucrat and Meghalaya award recipient in sports, Anjum Hassan, novelist and poet, Pauline Warjri, renowned pianist and singer, Isawanda Lalu, the current deputy commissioner of East Khasi Hills, and Zinat Ara Ali, founder of Dwar Jinkurmen. At present, the total strength of students in is 1,316 with 50 teaching staff, 5 office staff and 20 support staff, all under the principalship of Mercia D. Souza. The property is spread across a huge plot of land while the front portion comprises mostly the school and playgrounds. The back section is largely empty and it houses the hostel which is now under lock and key and a vast parking space for teachers. All in all, the premises has six gates. The Loreto sisters run 12 schools across India, but now there are more mission and outreach schools set up in the villages of Darjeeling, Pani Ghata in West Bengal, Saddam in Sikkim and other places. The main branches that support these outreach schools are Pushpa Vidyalaya of St. Agnes Loreto School and in Loreto School, Lucknow, there is a Jagriti. Loreto Convent is one of the few schools in the city that acknowledges its rich history by way of preserving the historic appearance of its buildings and structures, thus becoming one of the iconic landmarks of Shillong. Yes, it should be maintained and that is what we are teaching our children also not to destroy all these old structures that we have because uh, it's of value today. So we are bringing down these structures in order to put up three, four storey building and especially here in Shillong when we have the earthquake Okay, it's as bad as the traffic in Shillong. Okay, the way we are bringing down these old structures. So we need to maintain this. These, they are heritage sites and we should maintain it.